Hey guys, what's up? Shin0525 here, back more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII, the remake. Uh, so, last episode we just saw the pillar get destroyed, and the whole plate fell, and everyone's dead. But, uh, and now we're just walking through the town, seeing how people are reacting to it. Are we going here? No. Did they have the old lady? The angel of the slums or whatever? Is she anywhere? Yeah, now everyone's worried like, ooh, our, is our plate gonna fall next? Like, oh. Because they have no idea, like, what happened. They don't know if it was, like, a, an avalanche attack. They, they obviously don't know, like, Shinra did it. I guess not. Then all of a sudden... We going here? No. Can't do anything fun. This game sucks. Well, let's see. That's the see. house. Marlene! Marlene! I'll go around this way. Again, go everywhere except where you need to go. For it is the way. Alright, let's see. Let's see if she's here. Where's Marlene? Is she here? Barrett. Sorry, I'm buried. Marlene's my little girl. Marlene, she's got short hair. She's cute as a button, but with the heart of an angel. She was wearing uh pink. She was wearing a She's pink dress today. Upstairs. Huh? Oh. I said she's sleeping. I want to see her too. Come on. Let's go look in on her. Oh, I wonder how Aris mother's feeling. Keep it down. Don't wake her. She already didn't like us. Or she gives us trouble. Maybe you should join your friend upstairs. What picture is this? I didn't see that the first time I came. What is that? Oh, there's a picture of a cat? Oh. Little details. Oh, Marlene, my baby. Thank God. Oh, <laughs> Shinra has my daughter now. I'm sorry. No, I'm the one who asked her to go get Marlene. We'd only just met, but she was so kind and helpful. I took advantage of her. It's not your fault. It was only a matter of time before she ended up back there. Because she's an ancient, is that it? So she told you about that. She must trust you all a great deal. Yes, Aerith is an ancient. Probably the last one living. 
She's not my daughter. Not by blood, I mean. If that's what you were wondering. Hmm. About 15 years ago. My husband, he'd been shipped off to fight on the front lines. But then I received a letter saying he'd be home for a bit. So when the day came, I went to the station to meet him. We see, like, young her? Oh, we are! But... He didn't come. I couldn't help fearing the worst, even then. But I told myself his leave must have been postponed, that he'd been delayed. Every day I went, to wait and to pray. And that's how I met her, her and her mother. I thought maybe they'd run away from Wall Market, or that they were topsiders fallen on hard times. I'd seen that sort of thing a lot. Take Aerith somewhere safe. Those were her mother's dying words. My husband had been away for so long, and I was lonely. So I convinced myself the safest place for the girl was with me. It took no time at all for her to start feeling like family. She was a real chatterbox. She told me strange stories. Like how she and her mother had escaped from some sort of facility. And how she wasn't sad because her mother had just returned to their planet. Their planet, huh? Yeah, that sounds about right. I didn't understand any of it at the time. When I asked if she meant one in the sky, she said no. This one, right here. I mean, what can you say to that? Mommy, don't be sad. That's what she said to me one day, out of the blue. So I asked her, what's wrong? A man you really, really loved just died. His heart came a long way to say goodbye. But he couldn't stay because he had to return to the planet. I didn't believe her, of course. And then, a few days later, I received a letter saying my husband had been killed in action. Things like that, she'd just know. It was a lot to deal with, but we were happy. <laughs> and then came the knock. Just any little girl. You're a descendant of the ancients. I had no idea what he meant, so I said, Who are the ancients? They were the original stewards of the planet, whose boundless knowledge and wisdom shall guide us to the promised land. Some believe the promised land to be a myth, others, an allegory of sorts. But we take the words of the scriptures at face value and believe it to be quite real. Which is why Shinra would like very much for Aerith to help You're us- You're wrong! I'm not an ancient! But Aerith, 
Even when you're all alone, don't you hear voices whispering secrets? No, never! <clears throat> but all three of us knew that wasn't true. That man knew exactly who Aerith was, where she'd come from, and what she could do. They knew where she was, but they didn't just take her? Doesn't sound like the Turks I know. She had to come willingly, otherwise it wouldn't work, they said. That's why, even if they did take her away, I'm sure she's still being treated like a guest. And that they'll send her straight back home, once they get what they need. I doubt it. You're not planning anything, are you? Don't make things worse than they already are. If I lost her too, I don't know if I could... If I could ever... Just don't. Cloud, maybe she's right about this. Maybe they'll let Aerith go when it's all over. Maybe we'd be better off waiting a little while. Let's head back to Sector 7. Got things to take care of. Like checking up on the bar. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, there's one thing we need to check. Take care of yourselves now. Because it's the, the most teased treasure if I can't get it right now. Thank God. Mythical amulet. We're gonna win this fight. I promise. Damn right we are. What time is it? Oh, it's late. It's like almost two in the morning. So that sucks. Like the pillar falling at like the middle of the night. So you just get like woken up by like shaking and like. You have no idea what the hell's going on. It's awful. The main entrance to Sector 7 is buried under rubble now. So how are we supposed to get back inside? Underground passage in the park. Uh, good plan. But how do we get to the park? I know another way to get there. Aerith showed me before. This ancient girl knows her stuff. Didn't mean anything by it. So I guess this isn't a side quest chapter. Now this needs to be a chill chapter. Like way too much stuff happened for us to uh, have another like action packed. What's up, kid? Can we go? Oh, they sealed it off. Alright, let's just get going. God, this game is so good. And we're only on chapter 13, too. So there's like... I think there's 18 chapters in this game. So we're, we're getting close, but um... We're like 25 hours in. It's crazy to think. 25 hours. It feels like just yesterday we started playing it. No, it feels like yesterday I played Sonic Color. That game was disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like, have you seen my Let's Replay Sonic Colors? Uh, Let's Play? Uh, it was quite disappointing. Because it's just like such such a lame game, and like I don't I don't hate colors. It's just it was just rough. It was just rough. It wasn't as fun as I remembered. Honestly, what made me like 
what made me want to stop was collecting all the red rings. If you're just playing the game normally, no big deal. But like, if you're trying to get all the red rings, oh god, just kill yourself. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, we got like monsters now? Bah! I like the bat sound it makes. All right, Cloud. God damn it. I was dead. Worked up a good sweat. I did work up a sweat from it. Those guys were like, super easy to get up. Yeah, we, we've been through here, so I don't think there's going to be any like treasures that are left. We pretty much got everything. Don't worry, I will make a like quick uh, quick look around just to make sure we didn't miss anything. It's blocked. Damn it. There, that way. We'll have to fight our way through. But it's our only shot. That's not too bad. Fight our way through what? Okay, here. Here's the new section. Collapsed Expressway. That's a good song. Um, abilities, assess. And now I'm gonna get jumped on. Oh, I get like a baseball bat. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Damn, I like the bat. Hey, right, let's see. Uh, I think Disorder is the new one. Diva. Oh, too bad. Nothing's gonna stop. <laughs> you would say that. She was like too happy now. Tifa's ready to give up. She's just like, oh, maybe we shouldn't do anything. It's like, no, we need to like walk like straight into Shinra HQ. And just and all of them. Let's go. Should be easy. Oh, clap! Wake up, Cloud. I uh, think it's creep. Oh. God, I actually really do like the bat. Oh, I didn't assess these guys. Let's do it right. Technical data not available. Done. That's a win. Call that a fight. Why are there two pathways here? That makes me think like there's treasure on one of them. Guess not. Alright guys, we're about at 20 minutes now, so I'm just gonna end the video here. Next video we'll take on those guys and I guess head up that way. So um, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you guys in the next one. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Okay, thanks, bye. Thanks for making it to the end of the video. This is the pre-recorded end slate where I get you to like, comment, subscribe, and limit break that subscribe button.
really do it. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, this is just the end of the video. I want to give a shout out to Guardian Saiyan. Uh, he's an awesome dude, if you didn't know. Does all like my channel art, intros, outros, that sort of stuff. Links to his uh, page and everything is in the description below. Along with all the links to the music and um, everything that was used for all the intro, outro stuff. That's in the description below as well. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, remember to come back for the next one and uh, stay awesome, my friends. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.